Okay, I'm live. Sorry, I'm having to adjust my camera, you guys. I've, um... I'm live. Sorry, I'm having to adjust my camera, you guys. I tried to set it up earlier, but... I've, um... I'm live. Sorry, I'm having to adjust my camera, you And the volume's on. I tried to set it up earlier, but... What a mess. Okay, here I am. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I tried to set it up earlier, but I'm in a different space tonight, and it's not exactly um, how I wanted it to be. So, anyway, here we are. This will work out. There we go. People to see what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to wait just a little bit and let some people jump on here. I'm in a totally different spot than I normally do my lives with. Kind of had to make do tonight. My um, son is having a friend over, but they're not here yet. So I came into our office and kind of had to set up a space in here. This is not where I normally work from. I usually use my dining room. Um, but so I kind of spent the afternoon trying to get this set up a little bit. I had to clear the desk off and make space and get my stuff in here and all these things. So um, I'll wait a few minutes to see who's going to hop on here while we're, while we're rolling. Also, I'm going to go ahead and share this on some pages too um, so that I can make sure everybody who wants to see it or needs to see it can see it. So let's share to a group. This one. Um, let's see. Sharing it to some of my direct sales groups. And then um, I'm going to share it to my VIP page and my personal um, page so that people can see it. Now, this is a live that. Um, <clears throat> was part of a giveaway that I'm doing. So everybody who shared my uh, poll, we took a poll to figure out which of these uh, transfers that I op offered up were going to be um, done live tonight. So um, I, sorry, I'm still looking for these pages here. Uh, so anyway, so I put two different transfers up in a poll and asked which ones people wanted to see me do. And um, the poll closed at 7, and the um, results were 67% to 33%. We had like 21 or 22 votes come in, so that was really awesome uh, to figure out which one. And they chose the Happy Halloween post, so that is the one I'm going to be doing tonight. Um, so let me just share this where I need to share it. Um, and then while I'm doing this, people can hop on here. All right, there we go. Now I'm coming up with my pages here. Okay, I think I got it. Oh wait, I didn't share it to my own page. That's funny. Share it to my page. I don't know if it'll share, let me see. Maybe, maybe not. That's all right. I'll share it to my page later. Pretty much everybody who's on my page is on this page too. All right, if you're with me, say hello, please, so I know you're here and I know who's with me. Put this back up here and try to. Did it pause? Oh no. My screen is paused. I don't know if your guys, if it's shut off or what the deal is. Hmm. Sorry, mine shut off. I guess it was my iPad for the. Hi, Elena. How are you? Make sure you guys say hello whenever you hop on. Got Elena with me right now. Make sure you guys share this post too so that um, if you shared my poll, 
and voted, you get entered to win what I'm making tonight. This is not what I'm making tonight. Good, I'm glad you're good. Um, this is not what I'm making tonight. I made this the other day and it was so fun to make. I'm gonna hold it a little bit closer to the camera so you guys can see all the colors that are in there. This was super fun to work on for real. Uh, I can't wait to make more of these. I actually bought several of these boards whenever I bought this. Um, and I'm starting a uh, sale page for my finished products. So this is definitely gonna go in there. Hopefully it'll do well. Uh, this is the sugar skull transfer and um, I have several transfers. Uh, I'll say again, a couple more people jumped on. If you're here, say hello. I would love to know who's watching with me. I just wanted to throw these up real quick too. So this poll that I did was between this transfer. I don't know if you guys can see the whole thing because of the space I'm in tonight. Um, this uh, build a jack-o'-lantern transfer. And this one only got 33% of the votes. Hi, hi Rachel. Um, and then this one, which is our happy Halloween transfer. And this one got like 67% of the votes. So this one won for tonight. So this is the one I'm gonna be working on tonight. Uh, but I wanna show you guys these transfers really quick. So this is the build a jack-o'-lantern. This one is, what is this one called? I don't remember. Webs, Halloween webs. Um, different spiders, different webs. That's Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat. This one is our Double Double Toil and Trouble. Uh, I think it's just called Double Double. Yes. And um, then the Sugar Skull transfer here that I did the other day, um, not live. I actually tried to shoot a video of this and I ran, I was gonna do one of those fast motion videos so you guys could see how I made it. And then I ran out of space on my phone right in the middle of it and I was so aggravated. But anyway, um, here's our little wicked kitty cat. And this one says, a charming witch and her little monsters live here with one handsome devil. And this one says, eek, boo, spooky. And these three little ones, these are the ones that are the least expensive. They retail for $9.99, they're super duper cute. Um, and this is the sugar skull that I made earlier this week. I think the sugar skull transfer retails for $29.99, but keep in mind that you can use it several times, up to like 10, 12 times. Uh, thanks, Heather, for sharing. Sorry, I just saw that. You can use this up to 10 times. Some people say more, depends on how well you take care of your transfers. Um, but anyway, so, uh, so yeah, it's $29.99, but you can make like 10 projects with this. So that's really actually a really great deal. Um, I'm gonna set this aside. So this is the board I'm working on tonight. I made this earlier uh, today, actually. I bought a chalkboard board. It was like a two by four board from Home Depot, I think. And it cost me $10, I believe. And so this is just a piece of it. So I cut this off earlier and I wanted some little sharp corners on here like this because it's a Halloween board and I wanted it to look cute. So I cut all this and I roughed the edges just a little bit by sanding it down. Um, and then I wasn't sure which transfer we were going to be using tonight. So I didn't want to put holes in it to hang it until um, after I had uh, see who was going to win the transfer uh, poll this evening. And so what I'm going to do after I do this this evening is to drill a couple of holes right here and put a Halloween ribbon in there. Um, oh, thanks, Angela. Um, oh, yeah, the sugar skull is awesome. And then I'm going to put some holes in here and I'm going to hang it with a Halloween uh, ribbon. And um, whoever wins the contest from this evening for sharing and voting and all of that kind of stuff, um, we'll get to hang this in their home. Just keep in mind, this is not an external door hanger. Um, I will clear coat it, but the back of it is like particle board and I won't be like spraying the whole thing and making it weather proof and all that kind of stuff. So if you do win, please don't hang it outside. The back of it will get ruined. Um, the link to my uh, page is on this post, I do believe, but if you can't find it there, you can scroll on my Facebook page, my Chocolate Lady page, and um, the uh, link to my website is on the welcome uh, post on there. And you can order the Sugar Skull there. Um, you will need some colors 
to do that with. We have tons of those too. You can take a look at those and a squeegee. So you'll need a transfer, a squeegee, and a color, at least one, but with the sugar skull, you'll want to obviously get more than one color. Um, so anyway, here's what I did with this transfer tonight. Um, it's really big. And when you're working on a large transfer, this one is not pieced already. A lot of times the transfers already come in um, separate pieces for you to cut apart, like if you're layering them. This is not a layering transfer, but I didn't want, um, if you use a large transfer and you try to do it all at one time, sometimes your paste color will dry on um, the silk screen before you get done with the rest of it. So if that happens, whenever I tried to pull this up, where I first started might be dry, in which case it would stick to the silk screen and not go through and stick to my board underneath. Um, so I didn't want that to happen. So I'm showing you guys a little trick that you can do to do larger transfers and not have to worry about the paste drying while you're working on the rest of it. So I cut it apart. Now, the only issue with doing this is that, if you guys can tell, my cut lines and the edges of the um, the designs are really close. So it's gonna be hard to not go over the edge of my transfer here um, when I'm working on this. But one of the great things about this product is that's okay. <laughs> I do it all the time. You can wipe it off. It's not a big deal. So if you get off the edge a little bit, you just take a little wet paper towel and you wipe it off and it's like, like it was never even there. So what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna do this in two separate pieces. Um, whenever you're working with our transfers, one of the important things to know is that they are adhesive, which is awesome. That's part of the reason why you can reuse them over and over again. However, they're really adhesive. Um, and because I'm working with a board tonight that I made that is not a chalk couture board, um, I waxed it. Now you all are probably like, what does that even mean? So I'll show you. I'm going to pull this off here real quick, and I'm going to be careful to make sure it does not stick to itself because if it sticks to itself it might not come up apart and then I've just ruined my transfer uh, before I even got to use it. I'm going to set this over here on my towel. And when I say I waxed my board, this is what I used. This is natural color min wax, uh, waxing paste or finishing wax, paste finishing wax. And um, I wiped this all over my board with a rag and let it set for about 30 minutes. And then I came back in with a clean rag and buffed off the excess, you know, like wax on, wax off, haha, <laughs> um, to get this surface ready for my transfer and my paste. Uh, when you use a chalk couture board, you don't have to do that. But whenever you use other boards, sometimes the transfers stick really hard to it and it can mess up your transfer. Or sometimes the paste doesn't stay on very well and, um, obviously that's not good either but when you're using our chalk couture boards you don't have to worry about that they're made to work with our transfers and with our paste this is just an extra step that you need to take if you're using non chalk couture surfaces also if you're using wood surfaces that are textured um, you don't want to do that either uh, you want to make sure that you wax it it can pull up splinters of wood or pieces of um, paint or whatever that might get stuck on it so anyway here's what I'm doing with this I am fuzzing this transfer. That's what this is called. You put your transfer down on a towel and then you peel it back up and then you lay it back down again and you do it over and over. I usually do it about three or four times. Um, what this does is it actually gathers fuzz, literally gathers fuzz on your transfer, the sticky part, so that it doesn't stick as hard and it's easier to pull up. Angela, that's awesome. I appreciate you sharing stuff. Um, when you're in a direct sales business like this, most of my business comes on Facebook. That's how I get the word out. So sharing with your friends is an excellent way to help me and support my business. Even if you can't or don't want to make a purchase, maybe you have a couple of friends who would really love to um, try this stuff. And so like, even if it's not for you, sharing it with your friends, you might actually help me just by getting the word out. Hello, Tasha. All right, so I'm fuzzing this transfer. I think that's like three times, four. Maybe I've been talking, I don't pay attention so much. Once again, I'm trying to make sure that I don't let the sticky part touch itself because it'll stick together and it might not come apart. If that ever does happen, the best thing to do is to take your transfer, put it in the sink, and um, 
run some cold water on the sticky part while you're trying to pull it apart very slowly. I've had success with that. Um, so far, I haven't ruined a transfer completely. But what I'm doing here, for those of you that just hopped on, is I am fuzzing my transfer, picking up fuzz on the sticky part so it won't stick as hard to my surface. Now I'm going to lay it down. And our designs on our transfers are almost always even from side to side and top to bottom. So what you can do is you can line up your transfer on your board evenly from side to side and top to bottom and pretty much guarantee that you're getting it right in the center of your board. We also have a tape um, that can help you line up like letters and things like that to make sure they get nice and even. I'm just gonna eyeball this tonight because it's kind of a angled design. I don't know that it would be super noticeable if it's not perfect looks about right right there. So I'm going to smooth this down. It laid down pretty flat. Typically if I'm using a larger transfer, whenever I'm putting it down, I'll start at one side and kind of roll my hand down as I lay it down. Um, what you want to do is make sure that it's adhered really well around the silk screen so that you don't get any bleeding underneath. It's not a huge problem, but if you have a bubble that you're not aware of right there, it can kind of mess it up and you you know, want to avoid that. Um, but once again, if this turns out terribly, I can peel it up, wipe the whole thing off, and just start all over again once it's dry. It's that easy to do. All right, so I'm pretty sure that's laid down here. And this is the other piece that I cut here. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down at the same time. Um, That'll kind of speed up the process of doing the design. Also, it'll get it even and where it's supposed to be in the first place. If I try to lay it down after I peel this other up, um, I might not get it on there straight and it might look weird. So once again, I'm gonna fuzz this. Transfer here, I'll just show you guys on the side. Got my little Halloween background. I even wore my Halloween shirt because I knew some people would be hopping on here. And I'm doing a Halloween design. In case you all can't read this shirt, it says the one day a year I get to be me. <laughs> yeah, my daughter thought that was funny. I'm not sure if she was like, haha, mom, you're so funny, or haha, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how she felt about that. She's 13 years old, so it could have been either way. Um, so I'm just picking up fuzz on the adhesive part of this so it won't stick so hard. And because you'll need to know this if you buy your own transfers, whenever um, I'm done with all of this tonight, I will rinse all of this off in, in cold water, or cool, water doesn't have to be cold, um, and uh, rinse all the extra paste off, and I'll try to wash off some of the fuzz. It'll come off in the, in the sink while I'm doing it. And um, then I will turn it upside down, sticky side up on my towel, and I will wipe the adhesive part with a Clorox wipe or a cleaning wipe of some kind, um, and uh, clean the extra fuzz off. I defuzz it after that. Then I lay it back on the backing sheet and it's good to go and ready to use the next time. And as long as you're taking good care of your transfers, you can use them a bunch. They say eight to 12 times, I think, is the like official statement from Chalk Couture, but I've heard a lot of people say that you can use your transfers a lot more than that. Um, I myself have never tried to use one more than that because I keep buying new transfers and not using the other ones more than like four or five times. <laughs> I plan to, I'm just gonna keep using them until they won't work anymore and then I'll replace them but I just they keep coming out with new designs and it's so awesome like oh my gosh I'm so excited about this stuff Halloween stuff I was looking forward to this starting next month I'll be starting my fall stuff um so my plan tonight I have all my paste over here that I'm gonna use um my plan tonight I don't even know what I'm gonna do you guys I looked at this like a million times and I still couldn't figure out like how I wanted to do this whole thing so I think what I'm going to do is try to do a little bit of a um, like candy corn effect in the middle here. So I've got orange, yellow, and white. So I think I'm going to try to go orange middle, yellow outside of that, and white for these little swirly things and right along the edge of this. And we'll kind of see how this works. This is an ombre design. And you guys, this might not work. So I might like, I don't know, not make a fool of myself, but try something that looks ridiculous. Um, while we're doing this. Um, ombre is something I do regularly, but I don't usually do a three tone from the center out. 
and I don't usually do it on something this large live on camera. <laughs> so a lot of my stuff I do doesn't work out exactly and I like just, you know, nobody saw it or if I'm shooting a video I just delete it and it's no big deal. But anyway, so we're going to give this a try. Um, I'm also going to use this pumpkin color and this um, bright orange color. It's just called orange. No fancy name for that one. Um, and then an evergreen. And you'll see this small container. This is the size that we used to sell but now we sell these larger sizes and it's like pretty much the same price. So um, it's, you're getting a much better deal now because it's 50% more in these containers than what was in this one. So this is evergreen in case you guys are wondering. This one is called lemon yellow. And some of these colors, I don't think we actually have the same ones exactly, um, but they should have some really similar ones. Now I know the pumpkin is one of our seasonal ones right now. It won't be around for very much longer. Um, they'll be releasing some new colors and some new stuff, new seasonal shades, um, whenever we get a little closer to Christmas, I think. So this is a brand new container of white. Off to the side here, I have, um, no, I did not make my shirt. Um, I probably could have though, actually. We have fonts and we have all kinds of stuff. Um, no, I wish I made this shirt. I bought this at Walmart actually. I'm an after, after season clearance shopper, so that's where this one came from. So this is a brand new container of white that I've had for mm, a month or so. It's kind of thick. So I'm going to spray it with some water and give it a mix. Because they do dry out a little bit, um, but all you do is put some water in there and it comes right back up. I've even had, um, even had some that had like crusty pieces around the edges and I just scraped it into the container, dropped some water in there, gave it a quick stir and then closed the lid up and when I opened it back up again they were good to go. So this stuff, uh, once the paste is open, I think, I don't know, it depends on how quickly you use it, how often you leave it open, I don't know that it can dry and not be used anymore unless it's just been months and months and months. So I'm thinking, I'm going I'm to shoot a number out here like six months, but probably more than that. Uh, Cause like I said, you just drop some water in here and you're good to go. This is still really thick, geez. That's what I get for letting it sit for like a month and a half or more without even opening it. So I just use a squirt bottle cause I can control, hi Kim from Michigan, cause I can control how much water is getting in here. I used to try to like take it over to the sink when I first started and I got way too much water in it one time. I had to leave it sitting open for like a super long time to get it ready. So this is the only one that I just opened today. The rest of it should be in good shape. I'll still give them a mix. Um, and you shouldn't, won't typically have to use this much water. Like I said, I've had this sitting. Okay, this one should be good to go. Um, and th these are just cake pop sticks that I bought. Uh, we have a multi-tool here that you can use to stir it with. It's got like a wider squeegee in on this side and a smaller squeegee in on this side that you can use for other projects but because I just have the one right now I use my cake pop stick and I have a pan of water over here so I'm just dropping them in there as soon as I'm done and because I'm going to be using these um, not the pumpkin yet but the orange the yellow and the white I'm just going to leave them sitting off to the side here open yeah this one looks good this is a yellow. See, this is like, like a much creamier texture um, than that white was when I first opened it. Alrighty. And one more with my orange here. And then we'll get started. And let me tell you guys, did y'all see what I did there? Alright, no big deal. Um, now the orange looks different. This is an old orange color and you'll notice the consistency of all of these is a little bit different simply because they use natural pigments and sometimes you gotta use more of this and more of that. This one has a weird texture to it, but it has never affected the way that it goes down. Um, and honestly, because of the weird texture, I had to put so much water in it when I first opened it that I think I ended up like getting more for my money. I don't know if that makes sense. Like I made the quantity larger because I was adding water to it. Okay, so now we're done here. So like I said, I'm gonna start with orange in the middle. Go with yellow around the outside of that and then do white right on the outside of that and try the ombre thing here. And um, I promise you guys I'm going to try to do a good job, but I can't guarantee it's going to look fantastic. But we'll see. One of the things about this is 
I don't have to make the design myself. I just have to put the colors on and make it look like good with colors because the design's already done for me. So even if the colors look weird, it'll just be the colors that look weird and not the actual <laughs> design that looks weird. So, hmm. I think I'll start with orange in the middle here and then we'll go out from there. And I'm gonna use my finger to blend stuff. Did I bring my paper towels? Oh, I forgot. I forgot my paper towels, guys. That's okay. I'll use my towel off to the side here. So I'm literally just gonna like um, swipe this like this. Add this to the center here. And when I'm doing an ombre effect, I like to get a little thicker around the edges. I wouldn't normally do that. Um, so I just put it on, literally just like that. And then I scrape it off the extra. But because I'm doing the ombre and I wanna have some blendable color around my edges, I'm just gonna blend it around the edges like this and make sure it's thicker. Set this off to the side, move on to the next color, which is my yellow, lemon yellow. This is a pretty shade. Ah, oh, it's already blending, look at me. Told you guys it might not work exactly like I wanted it to. That's okay. I got too close over to the edge there. Get all that extra out of there. There we go. Gonna get it thick around the edge so that I can blend it with my finger in just a minute and you guys will see how that's gonna look. And throw my white down around the rest of that. Then I'll use my finger to blend it out. I'm getting my white right up against that yellow, which is what I should have done with that uh, yellow on the orange there. But you scrape it on, you make sure it gets inside the silk screen really good. And you can tell when you're as close as I am if it is or not. Um, I'm kind of moving as quick as I can here. I don't want my paste to dry on my silk screen. That um, will mess up the design. I don't want to move too quick around the edge over here though because I don't want to get color on the rest of my project where I'm going to work with other shades in a minute. Um, but if it does, I can clean it off. Although I did forget my paper towels in here. Golly. It's like you try to do all these things at one time. Today I was going to relax and instead of relaxing, I cleaned my bathroom, uh, shower, toilet, the whole deal. And then I... Um, uh, baked a p strawberry pie and I made a chocolate peanut butter eclair cake like I've <laughs> You guys can order any of the stuff that you've seen me show um, You can order it on my website Like I said, you'll need a color a squeegee and a transfer anything other than that is like just Extra stuff extra colors and extra transfers and all those kind of things. All right now I'm gonna use my fingers here and blend these colors out So here we're blending the yellow and the orange. It's going to be a little thick here. That's okay. It'll look cool when it comes up. Y'all will see. So I blend this in. This is how you do an ombre with these pink colors. All right, now I'm going to go with the white and the yellow here. Hopefully that orange didn't dry too much. It kind of looked like it was starting to. And I'm making sure too that while I'm doing this, I'm getting all the color blended into the silk screen that where it didn't cover between the shades. Um, and a lot of times when I'm like, oh, well that didn't work out how I planned at all. And be like, oh, well that was just part of the design. So here we go. You pull it up, you always try to go side to side or top to bottom. And then I am setting this off to the side here. I'm literally gonna stick it to, oh no, itself. Great. Um, just peel it apart slowly to make sure that it doesn't get any worse. Actually, I'm gonna leave this just like it is and do this in cold water in a little bit. I accidentally stuck the transfer to itself. That's okay, it can be fixed. Okay, so that is that part. 
It turned out pretty cool. You can see my paste started to dry just a little bit in a few places, but I actually kind of think it adds to the like look of the design anyway. So I like it. I think that turned out really neat. I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, so I'm just going to rinse my fingers off in some water over here. Uh, I keep a pan of water beside me. Sometimes I drop my transfers in the water uh, just to kind of soak off a little bit of the chalk paste before I get a chance to get to the sink. But it doesn't really matter if it stays on there or not. It'll stain your transfer sometimes, but um, it's just a stain. It doesn't affect the way that it works later on. So um, I can see there's a couple places right here along the edge of this pumpkin that later on I'm going to have to wipe off. But right now, I'm not really worried about it. A um, little bit of white on the pumpkin here. Hmm, that's fine. Okay, so now that I've got that part done. Oh, and this will dry in like, it's kind of thick in some places. Usually, you would take your squeegee and wipe all the extra off and then try to save it back into your container. So you really use quite a small amount of your paste. Uh, but because I am, um, that was my white. Because I am, bl I blended it out, I didn't want to wipe off the extra because I didn't want to ruin the design. So I wasted a little bit of it doing it that way, but not very much. All right, next, I am done with my white, so I'm putting the lids back on. Like I said, these can dry out some. I mean, you just add water and it fixes it, but um, it can dry out some, so I like to just keep the lids on there whenever I'm not using them. Uh, so I'm going to do another little ombre on my pumpkin here. My thought is that, so if there's a light shining on the pumpkin, then it would have a little bit of a brighter spot in one little area. So I'm using this orange shade to make like a little bit of a highlight. It just adds a little bit of depth to it a little. Like I'm not fancy with art and stuff, but that's just, just you know, I thought it would be cool that way. And then I'm going to use the pumpkin color all around that. Um, and then my stem will be my evergreen shade. So I'm going to do the orange first, and then I'm going to do this last. And let's see. For my little pumpkins, you know what? I didn't even think about the little shadow. Hmm. I have my paste containers over here. I think we'll do purple. I was kind of wondering how I could stick some purple shade in here. And um, this is a just purple. Um, so I think I'm going to do these little shadows down here in a purple color. I think that'll be fun. Uh, so I'll do, I think the orange first, and then I'll do the purple and the green. And you all can see, like, I use several different size squeegees right there. The biggest squeegee that you saw me use is one of our small squeegees. Uh, we also have an angled squeegee. We have a much larger squeegee that has a handle on it for really large projects. We have our multi-tool here. And then I cut the small squeegee apart to make all of these little bitty squeegee pieces um, so that I could use them for the more detailed stuff. Like I'm going to use one of these small ones for the purple here. I'm going to use one of these small ones for the green over here too. Um, so I'll just set these off to the side. I'm going to give my purple and my green a little mix. Um, and I was saying earlier for those of you that missed, this is an old size paste container. And these are the new sizes. Um, show you guys what I'm talking about. Big and little. Old ones, new ones, you get more for your money now for sure, for sure. Okay. Ooh, the green looks good. Awesome. I just stir them up to get a feel for um, the texture to see if I need to add water to thin them down a little bit. Um, and I'm just setting my cake pop sticks right now right on my little fabric over here. I'm not worried about it getting ruined. Uh, these are washable, so it'll just wash right off. If, even if it gets on there. A lot of times I do this directly on my dining room table and I just give it a wash. These paste be used on outdoor signs and doesn't have to be used on smooth surfaces. You can use this stuff on any surface. We have inks that are permanent when you heat set them. Um, the paste retail for $12.99 and the inks retail for $13.99. Um, and the transfers vary in price. They start, I think, at $6.99 for a small one that says love, and they go up to, I want to say $39.99, $49.99. I can't remember exactly. Um, you guys can go on my website, though, and we have a catalog, which is our current catalog, and you can look through all the transfers and all the paste colors, all the ink colors. Um, what's really cool about our ink stuff is that you can heat set it 
with an iron or an oven. So if it can go in the oven safely, um, or if you can use an iron on it, like hats and shirts and things like that, you can use our inks to make shirts and stuff with any of our transfer designs. So I could put this on a shirt if I wanted to. Um, there's no restrictions on how you can use our stuff. People use it on pillows, they use it on, um, actually, they use it on um, their washers and dryers and refrigerators and kitchen cabinets and you name it, people have chalked on it before. Their cars, people chalk their cars. Um, of course, if you put it on your car, it's not gonna stay on after a rain, but it will look cool in the meantime. Uh, if I'm missing any questions, I'm really sorry. I'm trying to look at your, um, I am using an Arkin phone stand. Somebody was asking me about that. I have an iPad holder on the stand and I have the Arkin um, bundle. I bought it as a bundle. So it has a camera or a phone holder and it has a weighted base and an iPad um, holder on it as well that would hold any kind of tablet size. It stretches and like, you know, it'll fit anything. And I have a Defender Series case on my phone, so the holder actually still holds that, uh, no problem. Okay, so start with the orange. I do another little ombre, like I was saying. So let's just pretend like right here is where the um, shadow would be, or the light would be shining and give a little bit of this right here. Get a little here for it to be, and we'll do the same thing right here. Just pretend like there's a light shining on this so we can get a little bit of highlight on the design. All right, so there's that. Let's throw a pumpkin on here. Uh, you know what? I should have washed that bigger. I'll use this one. So this has different angles on it, so you can use it for lots of different stuff. So this is pumpkin that I'm putting on here now. Like I said, I'm trying to stay away from the shadow down there because I'm gonna throw purple on that. I might get it right up against. And if it goes on there a little bit, that's okay. Um, this pumpkin's super smooth. It goes on really well. And I'm also trying to stay away from the very edge, just less to clean up later on if I can avoid it. Might have to switch. I'll switch to a smaller, uh, smaller uh, squeegee size to get around the edges there. Because if I take too long, it'll dry, and I don't want that to happen. Um, so that might be a, about all I can do with my big squeegee here to cover all of that. I'll use the squeegee. I'm scraping off the extra, so I'm saving it for later. So I'll use my little small squeegee piece here to smooth this around the edges here. Make sure I get all of it covered. I love these transfer designs that they have. They keep coming up with new ones too. And I've been super impressed with how like on trend they are with stuff. We'll come out with new transfer releases and then you know three or four weeks later I'll be over at a craft store and I'll see stuff just like our designs and I'm like oh my gosh they are so good at staying on trend with all of these designs and stuff. Like of course Halloween you can't go wrong with jack-o-lanterns and a happy Halloween sign. Um, trying to keep tabs on any questions. If anybody has any, go ahead and ask. Yeah, I got off my design just a little bit right there. Okie dokie. Looking good. Make sure it covers all the silk screen area. And because I'm not worried about the blending so much in this area, I'm going to go ahead and blend this up with my squeegee piece here. And blend the colors in that area with my squeegee. Tried to do this on a tiny apple on our back to school transfer and it didn't turn out. You couldn't see the highlight and I was like, oh well. Still looks cool. Alright, so my little pumpkins are done. I'm not going to scrape that in there because I don't want to mix those colors in my container. So now I'll do the purple real quick down here at the bottom. Oh, I covered some of that too. Got in a hurry. That's all right. It'll look cool when it's done. Scrape it on, scrape it off. Same right here. It gets a little hard whenever you've got such a tight little space where the design is so close together, but it always turns out so awesome. 
uh, last one is my green stems and then I'll pull this transfer piece up and you guys can see the finished product. So if you guys want to um, know about more giveaways and more lives that I do, just like my page, The Chocolate Lady. Uh, my actual name is Suzanne Martin. I forget to tell people my name whenever I'm talking to them about the... <laughs> I'd be like, what was her name? Like, she didn't even say it. I just tell people I'm The Chocolate Lady and forget that, you know, I have an actual name. And people probably need to know that if they're going to be finding me on Facebook. Um, all right. All done. Let's give this a pull here and we will see how it looks. Always from side to side or top to bottom. I like it. Set my thing off to the side. And I can even give a little like smooth here to kind of blend that a little bit more or not because like that kind of messed it up so I might end up redoing that later on. I see where I blended this a little bit here too. But anyway, so this is how easy it is to do. These pumpkins and any of our transfers work the same way. Um, they're super fun to work with. We have tons of colors to choose from. And um, I will announce who's going to win this transfer or this board. Uh, tomorrow I'll have a little cleanup I need to do around here. Or maybe later tonight depending on... Um, how much time I have. I've got several kids, so it can get a little hectic uh, bedtimes and whatnot. I'm just thankful that tomorrow's a holiday so they don't have school. So this is the finished design here. This is our Happy Halloween transfer. And I can show you guys um, a little bit more. Like I said, this is already dry. Like I see a little bit where it was really thick that it's not quite dry yet, but the rest of this is dry. So this is like a chalk paint. So you can rub it and it won't come off. Um, but if I want to make it come off, I can spray it with water, let it sit for just a minute or two, and then wipe it off with a paper towel and it comes right off. Um, this is going to be uh, given away. So what I'll do with this, I'm going to redo this part a little bit, I think. I probably should have blended it with my finger. Um, I'll probably redo the pumpkins, but the rest of it I like. Um, and then I'm going to clear coat it with a um, matte finish spray and then add my um, little holes for ribbon so it can be hung on the wall. So uh, one of you lucky people who shared this live tonight um, will be winning this amazing little board that I made myself. I made this board and everything. Um, so let me set this off to the side while those pumpkins are drying. And I'll show you guys the sugar skull that some of you all were talking about a little while ago. This is the sugar skull transfer. Uh, design that I did earlier this week. This one is really, really fun to work with. It's a layering transfer, so it comes in several pieces, and you cut them apart, and um, you lay your uh, whole skull part down first, and then you wait for it to dry. Then you lay your next layer down, and your next layer after that, after they dry, and you just keep layering it and stuff. Um, and it comes with these. It's only one of these, but it's like four pieces to the flower part and four pieces for the um, skull part. So this one takes a little longer to do, but it like the results are awesome. I like this might be one of my favorite ones I've ever worked on. It was just really fun to make. Um, and this is another board that I had to wax. So if you guys buy boards that are not chalk couture boards, um, you need to buy a finishing paste wax to use. It keeps the um, transfer from sticking so hard and helps the paste adhere better. Um, our stuff's meant to be used with our products, but you can use them with anything. Uh, so that was that one. Let's see what else we got here. Let's throw these back up here so you all don't have to watch the beginning of the live again. Like I said, sorry, I'm working in a different space this evening. Um, it's sleep overnight with my son and his friends, so I couldn't work in my normal space because expecting two 11-year-old boys to be quiet for 30, 45 minutes while I do a live video just isn't feasible. <laughs> um, they were playing Fortnite, so they have to talk loud and like get mad and stuff. Uh, so these are some of our other Halloween transfers. Uh, I don't think this is all of the ones that we have. This is all the ones that I have. Um, there's one other one that I have. It's a striped one that's October 31st. It's super cute. Uh, this says, a charming witch and her little monsters live here with one handsome devil. I haven't even used this one yet. 
This is our Wicked Cat. Here's our Eek Boo Spooky. Double Double Toil and Trouble Fire Burn and Cauldron Bubble. I'm going to make a cauldron like the board I just showed you. I'm going to make a cauldron board and um, put the bubbles and stuff on it. And let's see. This is our um, Halloween webs. This one's super cool to do on old windows, if you guys are wondering. Um, this is Chalk Couture, for you who are curious. Um, Chalk Couture, yes, we are a um, direct sales company. Custom transfers, we do not do custom transfers. People have been asking about that, so I'm not sure if that's gonna be like a thing in the future or not. Um, these are silk screen adhesive reusable transfers, so um, that might be a little difficult to do custom orders on these, uh, but I don't know. It's been asked by our designers, so it's possible that it could happen. Um, so I've seen somebody do this on an old window. They put the spider webs in the corner of the panes, and then they did their spiders in like these super bright colors that we have, and it looked really neat. And they just did like trick or treat and orange lettering. It was really cool. And uh, this is the one that was part of the uh, poll that we did for tonight. So um, this uh, layering transfer was the second choice. So the one I did tonight was the one that won the poll, but this was the second choice. So what I'm going to probably do is do a project with this later this week and then put it up um, on my next live to show everybody and post pictures as well. Uh, the transfer boards, the ones that Chalk Couture sell absolutely are reusable. Um, you can wipe them off. Now, if you're using inks on fabric or on canvas, it doesn't really wipe off of that. But if it's a hard surface like glass or chalkboard or anything like that, it does. Um... Yes, I do have a VIP group. Uh, if you would like to join that, it's actually on my Facebook page. There's like a groups um, section where you can see what groups I have linked to my page. Uh, my, my Talk A Lot Lady VIP page is on there. Uh, but yeah, the boards are reusable. You can clean them off and you can just do it over and over and over again. So it's really good for like seasonal stuff. So, you know, I'm going to seal this and sell it. But if I wanted to keep this, I could just leave this up. And then after Halloween was over, I could clear this whole thing off and then put a Thanksgiving design or a fall design of some kind and then Christmas. Uh, this board also has um, the back of it. Y'all can see I bought it at Michael's Craft Store. I did not pay that much for it, if you can see the price tag. Um, you can chalk the back of this too. And a lot of our boards and surfaces now are that way as well. We have a 10 inch round board and we have a 10 inch square board and they um, have a jute twine that you can hang it with, holes already drilled in it, and you can chalk both sides of it. Uh, we have a board and base, which is a five by seven, and the board and base um, has a little board that goes inside of just a little wood base, and you can chalk both sides of that as well. I think just about everything surface-wise that we sell now, except for our framed magnetic boards, have double-sided surfaces. Our framed magnetic boards are uh, powder-coated steel. They're really great quality. Um, I've been super impressed with all of Chalk Couture's uh, the quality of all of their products, like their paste, their inks, all of the stuff that they sell is super high quality. I guess because the prices are not like absurd, I just expected less. Like I went on Amazon and I was looking for, before I did Chalk Couture, I was looking for a magnetic chalkboard and they were insanely priced. Like it was just, there's no way I was going to pay for anything like that. Yeah, uh, Chalk Couture, we have all the stencils. Um, you can go on my website. It's uh, chalkcouture.com slash the chocolate lady. There's a link on my um, Chalk Couture page, my chocolate lady page, if you go on there. It's also on this post. So there should be a link at the top of this post. Um, and you can see all of our transfers. I'm thinking we have something around 50 or 60 transfers available right now. Um, several Halloween, several fall. We even have some Christmas ones up right now. Uh, we're just getting through with our summer stuff, so I don't know that there's much summer stuff left on there. But uh, we do have tons and tons of designs that are seasonal. We have some that are just family stuff uh, for your home that doesn't have to be, um, you know, specific to any particular season. Um, if you guys are interested in the company and you want to know more, just in the comments of this post uh, after I'm done tonight or right here I'll flip back through if you want to do it now just write info 
and I can add you to my Chalk Couture Opportunity Group and it can give you all the information about uh, what the company does, how to sign up, how much it costs, the compensation plan, like all of those things, the commission structure, everything is on there. It's $99 for the starter kit and, oh, I do have it. See, I prepared a little bit better than I thought. Um, let me move this here. This is our catalog. This is also online. So this is my like paper copy. Everyone who signs on um, and gets the kit gets one of these. So this has all of our inks and our paste, has our seasonal uh, paste colors that we have here. It shows all of our transfers, product surfaces, everything is in here. It even gives you like ideas. Um, these are all, I do believe, made by designers who are just like me, who work for the company or work with the company and they chose their designs to put in the catalog, which is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> okay, info, yes. If you wanna know about this company and how you can like sign up and become a part of this, uh, you do get 40% off, um, that's the wholesale cost, so you only pay 60% of retail on anything you purchase. It doesn't matter how small or how large your order is, you pay wholesale costs, which is a 40% discount off of retail on everything which is amazing. And let me tell you, I signed up as a hobbyist because I thought it looked cool. I was with another DS company and um, I was really struggling with it. Like, I liked the products that I was selling, but it just wasn't really like for me, it wasn't my thing. And then I found this, decided to sign up as a hobby just to get the discount and realized with my very first order that came in that it was just amazing and I had to do this instead. So I dropped my other DS company and I started putting all my focus into this and I am so glad that I did. Like, it's like, oh, I finally found the thing. Like, I've probably worked for five different DS companies over the past 25 years and um, I finally found my thing. Like, this is it. <laughs> so here you can see the transfers that I just showed you guys. Uh, I didn't have this one, I must have left it in the other room. This is one that I did uh, live last week, I do believe, uh, as a Facebook party for someone. Uh, so if you guys are interested in doing a Facebook party, uh, you can earn some free Chalk Couture stuff if your party sales are high enough. So that's something you can ask me about too. Um, and then the starter kit, somebody asked about it. Oh, when you sign up, you get free transfers every month. So you get one free transfer every month. It's always an 8 by 10 sized um, thing. And these are the ones that we got. So this was the one I got for August. Um, this is the one that um, I got last month. This month, oh wait, July, they send it two month, a month and a half ahead of time so that you have time to um, get it all set up and you can show people what the next transfer is. Some people like to do uh, like Club Couture where they do a monthly thing. So like if you wanted to get the free transfer, or not the free transfer, if you wanted to get these transfer designs from me each month, you could just pay a flat fee to me and I would just send this out to you each month whenever it becomes available. Um, so it was No Drama Llama, this one says Be Brilliant. The one I just got this month, it says Do Not, Do Not Give Up, see Donut, get it? Um, it has lots of little ways that you can layer it and make cute little donuts. The next one that I'll get this month is the wreath here. And then we're moving on to the home and then my favorite one, I'm gonna hold this up so you guys can see it better. Life is Short by the Shoes. I love this. I don't know if it's because it's shoes or because of that pattern on the shoes or what, but it's awesome. Um, so the starter kit is here. It comes with eight transfers and five paste colors, so five this size. The paste colors I got when I signed up were this size. And like a month and a half, two months later, um, they came out with a new ones and I was like, oh man, I can't believe I missed it by like that short of a window. But they have some really great, you get eight transfers. Um, I think right now this one still holds true. They'll be switching the transfers out. They keep the transfers in the kit uh, relevant to what's going on. So right now there's still some summer transfers in the kit, but uh, I think starting next month maybe, they're gonna be switching them out for some different seasonal transfers and stuff. So you get uh, one of our really great uh, magnetic frame chalkboards you get a 10 inch round board that you can see behind here that's double sided. Uh, you get eight transfers, five chalk paste colors, 
an apron, which, you know, I actually usually wear it. I totally forgot tonight. Like I said, I was baking pies and making cakes and stuff. And um, thank you cards. And I'm trying to think of what else comes in here. Oh, this book. You get this too. Um, so anyway, if you guys are interested, like I said, just type info on here. And those of you who've asked about a party, if you're curious about a party and you didn't say anything already, just hit party, write party on the comments here. I'm going to scroll through all these comments, write everybody's names down, and then tomorrow, um, probably evening, I'm sorry it won't be right away, but tomorrow evening I will reach out to you guys. You know, it's Labor Day. We have friends coming over um, tomorrow. So the um, great thing about this business is you can pick when you work. It's one of the things I like. I have four kids. I am busy all the time. We have two in soccer, one who does drama club at school. Um, she's also in band. And then we have a three-year-old who takes naps. And, you know, like my life is super, super busy. But uh, with this job, I can do this at my convenience. So a lot of times it's early in the morning. I get up at 6 o'clock to make breakfast for my kids and um, make my coffee. And I sit down before the little ones get up and you know get back to people that's when I do a lot of my follow-ups and that kind of stuff and um, it's just it's fun to work with for starters like who wouldn't love like making this cool stuff all the time but also it's easy to work it in your time which is really awesome plus it's fun and who like why would you not want to share this like it's so fun to do uh, you can also do parties so there's ways you can make money uh, doing this so many ways you can sell chocolate root products you can make finished products like this and sell them like I made tonight. I could sell this. Um, and you can do parties. You can do Facebook parties. Uh, we call them make and take parties. It's just like a paint party. I'm sure you guys have seen like paint night and stuff like that online. Um, you can do a paint night thing with your chocolate couture stuff. And it's, it's just really fun. Six, seven ladies get together. You bring the stuff. They go home with the project. A lot of ladies would like to go home with a paste color and a transfer, so you can do that too. Um, they don't put restrictions on what kind of discounts that you're allowed to give. So if I do a make and take party at someone's home, then I allow the hostess, if she has six prepaid guests come, I allow her to get all of her stuff for free. And um, it's just really, really fun. Um, I have never worked for a direct sales company that had such amazing customer service and seemed to have the best interest of their um, like representatives in mind. So just if you're curious about Chocotour, just let me know. The kit's 99 bucks and um, I can put you on my, my opportunity group and you can get all the other information that you need. So I'm gonna say goodnight. I really appreciate everybody joining me. I had a lot of fun showing you guys um, what to do. And like I said, I will be um, posting the winner of this tomorrow. So uh, be looking out for that. If you guys want to like my uh, Chocolate Chocolate Lady Facebook page, um, I will tag you in this post. Otherwise, I'll have to track you down some other way. But thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate everybody being here.